graphing practical situations. In this example, we're going to be looking at Sarah, and Sarah is pouring water into this container. And you can see my container is made up of two cylinders, a large blue one and a smaller green one. And we're being asked to graph, to draw a graph that shows the height of the water in the container over time. And we're also being told that Sarah pours the water in at a constant rate. So you need to try and picture this in your head that Sarah has something here and she is pouring water in. So the water is going through my green container and it is filling up my red container. And that water is being poured in at a constant rate. And we're being asked to say what is happening to the height of the water in this cylinder over a period of time. So if water is going in at the same rate, that would mean that this height of my cylinder must be rising at a constant rate. And so what that is going to look like as a graph is we're going to be graphing something which has the height of the water over time. And because the height is rising at a constant rate, the graph is going to look like this. It is a straight line, and this straight line is because the height of the water is going in at a constant rate. And in fact, the straight line is actually, the gradient of this actually represents the constant rate of water going in. But the height of the water is increasing at the same rate as time goes by. Now we have to think about what happens when it's full, because at the end here of my graph, that's when this blue container is full. And once the blue container is full, we're then going to start filling up my green container. Now, because the water is still going in at the same rate, that means the height of the green container must increase faster than the height of the blue container. And so that's going to look like this. So you can see I've got now the next part of my graph. So my blue one is the large cylinder and my green one, because the height of the water is increasing at a much faster rate because the cylinder is smaller, I have a straight line graph which has a higher gradient. So this line is much steeper. And that's all that's involved then in graphing a practical situation. I hope you've enjoyed the video and come back next time to listen to some more.